Now, when it comes to cruising, not just in the United States, but around the world, there is a wide variety of different dining options on board, places that they go, ship sizes, and so much more. And today, we're looking at a few different places that have ranked the cruise lines in terms of value for money, best for families, and more. Now, we've got a ton of cruises coming up in the future, but there are a lot of people who have done a lot more cruising than we have. And today, I wanted to try and find some different places that have polled a lot of different people or some experts in the industry who can give us more information about which cruises are best for you know different things. We're going to start off with the list of best cruises for your money. There are a few different places we're going to be looking at when it comes to this information, but let's start it off with the US News and World Report. And as we're looking at this, we're starting off like from the bottom and working our way up. And we're starting off with the MSC Cruise Line. Really good for the money, good value. They talk about some of the ports that they go to and the fact that it is based mostly in Europe. From that, we go up to number seven, which is Costa Cruise Line. This one is also mostly in Europe, Mediterranean. We don't see Costa Cruises over here that much in the United States, but it is out there, has made the news in the past, but Costa is number seven in terms of value for the money. Remember, we're talking about value for the, for the money. Next up is Princess Cruise Line, which is a subsidiary of Carnival, and they've got a lot of different activities on board, 14 different ships and things that are really suited for adults, really meant for the, the adults on board who really want more of a relaxing experience. Number five in terms of best for the money is Carnival Cruise Line. Might surprise some of you, but Carnival does do a lot of really good business and they're the leader when it comes to the number of ships they have a lot of ships and usually they're very inexpensive so it's definitely really good value for the money now we're moving on to Norwegian cruise lines and again looking at total value I cannot stress that enough in terms of you know great dining options relaxing experience and overall fun for the entire family number three is Royal Caribbean I definitely agree Royal Caribbean is a great experience and a really good value you definitely have the opportunity to explore or lots of cool places, great ship, great amenities, and the price is awesome. Number two on the list is Holland America, another Carnival Cruise subsidiary, usually less than $350 per person, but I've been told that Holland America can have some of the best food at sea. We'll find out in the future for sure, but Holland definitely makes a list in terms of one of the best for your money. Number one may surprise you, it's Celebrity Cruise Line, best value for the money, voted by the US News and World Report. Really interesting to see. Usually you think of celebrity as being more expensive, but from time to time, they've mentioned here that the rate can dip below $145 per person for the Bahamian voyages so it should be noted also tons of amazing experiences for kids and adults and they serve really good food so made the number one list here in terms of best value for your money value for the money is really really important but what if you're just kind of I'm looking for the absolute best experience I can find I've been trying to again get a, a wide view in terms of how people feel about different cruise lines and for this next one I want to go over it's from travel and leisure they rank the different cruise lines as well. Top five in terms of their favorites when it comes to large ocean faring cruise lines. Number five is Royal Caribbean. Great cruise line. As you know, I do like it, especially their newer ships. Can't wait to get there. Number four is Holland America. Again, great food from what I've heard, but they're saying overall value, really good and score from those who travel on Holland. Number three on their list is Celebrity Cruise Line. We're seeing it with some repeats here of things to experience from different you know sources, which is great. Number two on the list is Cunard. One I did not expect to see on the list, but still really cool. It's more expensive line for sure, but they're saying value for the money is definitely there. And number one, it may not surprise you, doesn't surprise me at all, Disney Cruise Line. That does definitely is one that I love a ton. I want to experience a lot of different cruise lines for sure, but Disney offers a tremendous experience. They're not taking cost into consideration because Cunard's not an inexpensive line at all. Neither is Disney, but they're taking the overall experience and they're saying for travel and leisure anyway, their number one is Disney Cruise Line. Now let's head back to US News and World Report and look at the best cruise for families. This is really just considering the entire family having fun together, thinking about the kids' experiences, thinking about the kids' play areas, all of that combined. US News and World Report gives Costa Cruise Line number six in this list. Then we go up to MSC Cruises, which is really cool to see because we were on an MSC cruise and I spoke to some guests on board who had kids on board and there's a lot of fun things for the kids to do and they have the Kids Cruise Free program, which happens every so often. Not all the time, but every so often. Next up, it's 
its Norwegian cruise line, great for younger and older kids too. They have some of those on the newer ships anyway, go-karts and special activities that you can find for not just kids for the entire family, but kids have their specific things as well. Really cool on Norwegian. Again, this list is meant for families. Number three on the list, Carnival Cruise Line. Definitely a lot of fun. Their whole experience is about having fun and their newer ships from what I have seen have these like aerial roller coasters and so many other activities that are meant for kids of all ages. They're definitely trying to tap into that market even more than they, they have in the past for families to have fun together. Number two on the list is Royal Caribbean International. Shouldn't surprise you at all. They definitely are well known in terms of uh, kid friendly and family friendly entertainment, zip lines, bumper cars, water slides, you name it, the surfer for the older kids. That is just the flow rider is so much fun. I love it. You know, you can be a kid at heart and have fun there too. I just, it's so much fun. Number one on the list probably doesn't surprise you here either. It's Disney Cruise Line. Great for families. Not the least expensive of all of them, but if I'm looking at like a family vacation, Disney Cruise Line is on the number one for my list too. I just love it. I sure hope you found this video helpful and informative. Thanks so much to our patrons for making all of our videos possible. And thanks to you for watching. Until next time, have a magical day and I'll see you real soon.